Well, hello everybody. I'm Ron Fudge, and welcome to QTV News Magazine Online, your internet source for local gay news, information, and entertainment 24/7. Let's take a look now at news of the day that's gay from around the bay. Charges of racism rocked the LGBT community this week as women and African Americans came forward to accuse Les Natali, owner of Badlands and the Detour Bars, of race discrimination. Community leader Calvin Gibson brought the charges to the attention of the press and City Hall. I personally have been receiving complaints from African Americans for about two years. I started reaching out to Les. I met with him in January and saying, "Did you understand? Do you understand you have a reputation of being racist against African Americans? And let's get together and meet and let's talk and let's see how we can resolve this." And he has refused to meet with me. He refused to take my business card. Other African American gays have now stepped forward with Gibson to tell their stories of discrimination. I personally have had white customers serve before me, where the bartender took my drink order and also took the drink order of the two white gentlemen behind me, served their drinks first, and then served me the wrong drink. And I also have been accused of stealing my own jacket. Um, at Badlands, Badlands、uh, bartenders have looked beyond me, looked around me, served customers、uh, to the side of me, and I basically have to、uh, put my hand in the face to get a drink. And oftentimes, I've been threatened with ejection. I've been discriminated against just in in general in the Castro. I have been discriminated against by going into stores and people following me around. I have been in line and. It's my turn at the register, and they skip over me and go to the next person. We have a gentleman that says that he was asked to open his wallet to prove that he had money in order to enter the bar. According to Gibson, Natali's ID policy at one of his bars is a blatant violation of state law. One of the problems is that he requires two IDs. There's a sign that's posted. Um, requiring two photo IDs in order to have entrance in the bar. That is actually illegal in the city of San Francisco. In this case, if you're only asking African Americans for two IDs, then that's discriminatory. But we've already been through this with the Midnight Sun in 1990. The 1990 case resulted in then Mayor Frank Jordan enacting the very law being broken today. Since City Hall provided a solution then. Gibson, flanked by other concerned gay African Americans, took their case to City Supervisor Bevan Dufty. We were very pleased、um, with our meeting with Bevan Dufty. We wanted him to understand that this is a very serious issue. We really talked at two levels. One specifically about、uh, charges that are being raised about Badlands and、uh, its owner, Mr. Les Natali, and then more generally about issues in and around the LGBT community, and specifically the Castro. Dufty immediately called for a formal investigation on local and state levels, and those in the meeting had clear ideas on how to turn the situation. Around. Well, the first thing I'd like to see is dialogue between the LGBT community within the LGBT community. I would like to see more people of color that are at registers in the Castro, that work in the Castro. We should see African American gays and lesbians everywhere, managing stores, being bartenders,、uh, you know, owning restaurants. Now that the problem is being addressed, Gibson says no doubt there's solution on the way. But not before time and community healing. So it's time for us to just stand up. We are one community. We all live in San Francisco for one reason, and that is to enjoy freedom as LGBT people. And I don't want my race to be a factor in whether I enjoy freedom or not. In San Francisco, I'm Ken Ludden reporting for QTV News Magazine.